Okay, so good morning, guys. Today is a day I could finally be outside. So this week I decided to go out, and like as you can see, my friend here, she's our special guest. <laughs> um, today I decided to like all week I had a ponytail to work to my internship. So this today I decided to do one curls, and then I also um. I want to do this little review on this double ceramic um, Conair wand curl from Amazon. I'll also link the shop in the bio below. I actually bought two because, um, yeah, they both look kind of good. I got one and one and a quarter to three quarters inches. And I got one in one inch. And the difference is basically uh, the one that's lower the one inch the curls will be more um defined and then the one that's more in inches which is this one like i just mentioned it's a one and a quarter to three quarters it'll be more like beach waves basically so i'm gonna do you know show you how i want to curl her and transform her transform her so she could look good because um we're supposed to be going to brunch and um yeah i'm gonna look i'm gonna look good so i'm gonna also um do my makeup and put all this clothes so you guys stay tuned and watch me as i do this step by step okay and don't forget to like subscribe and comment oh the sun is rising y'all yeah i see I, yeah I, I i see too the sun is definitely right it looks so beautiful though so yeah, so I'm just unpacking the color iron. Oh my goodness. I don't know, curling curling products? Not even products, curling heat tools are so satisfying to me. I love it. I just love it. Okay, so right here as you can see I'm just putting some heat serum on the hair, which is bio soap. So that I can start curling it with the one curl. So I wanted to give y'all an update. I'm almost done. It's only been about like 25 minutes. I've been curling. Look at these curls. They're nice and bouncy. I'm almost to the front. As you can see. But so far I like the curls. They look bomb. These some bomb curls. Like I'm going to um, comb them out too. I kind of want to look, you know. I don't know but so I just wanted to show y'all halfway I'm almost done um I know that I didn't want this video to be too long because I'm already gonna do a makeup video basically doing my makeup and yeah so I wanted to be concise so yeah and um I'll show you the next finishing touch so I'm try to comb with me the curls. So like y'all can oh, oh y'all see that? I don't know y'all see that. Look at the curls, they look so nice. This is what I'm talking about. This is all curls. I like my, my curls filled out though. Some people like it as is. I like them a little blowed out. So it looks nice and full. So now I'm putting makeup. I'm using a more moisturizer from e.l.f. And I'll just be rubbing out my face. As you can see. Yeah. Be careful when using the hot comb. Because look, I burn my little forehead anyways. So next thing I'm going to do now is. Basically I'm looking for. A shade that I use for my eyebrows denature yeah I barely have eyebrows and they're kind of sketchy so I'm gonna use my eyebrow razor and I'm brushing it so that everything is kind of in a shape I want it to go to towards so I'm cleaning up my eyebrows I don't know if it's even cutting it but hopefully yeah, it's doing something. It don't even look like it did nothing. 
Yeah, I was laughing because my niece in the back, she about to wake up. She looked irritated. But now I'm shading my eyebrows. And I'm also using this brush from India Royale. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is just over me. But anywho, sorry y'all. Yeah, so I'm shading my eyebrows. I gotta draw my eyebrows because I barely got any full eyebrows, honestly. Like, my eyebrows are so weird. Look at that. Like, yeah, so I'm just shading them in. Now I'm gonna go on with my concealer. This is Juvia's Palace. It's um, 9N. So it's one of those. It's, I prefer using the concealer a little lighter than my skin color. And I'm basically gonna just be messing around with it to basically create a sleek eyebrow look. So I'm just concealing my eyes as I told as I mentioned before. I also bring down the concealer to my eyelid so that when I do apply my eyeshadow, it, this is a nice little base. And then I'm doing the other side. And I'm using the Morph brush. Um, I forgot exactly which number it is. So yeah. And then you'll just see me basically trying to prefer, perfect an arch look. I like my eyebrows like arch. Some people like box. Some people like it very thin. So I like mine to like a bit of a arch. It's kind of hard for me since my I have to build eyebrows or well, make eyebrows. So yeah, you'll see me go back and forth to make sure it's like done properly. So right here, I put a little bit more concealer so it could be a little bit more defined. The right side came out perfect. Then I'm blending it out. I'm buffering it, as you can see, so that I could blend. I still gotta fix the left side. Doing eyebrows is very tedious, so take your time. Honestly, if you gotta go back and use more of the eyebrow pencil or powder depending on your preference then you know do what you gotta do so you can get a job done so now i'm pretty much done with my eyebrows i'm using calamine lotion as a primer agent i use a sponge and i just put it on basically areas where i'm really oily it helps with oily skin. Some people use milk of magnesium, but um, I'm more comfortable with this one. But you don't have to. You can also use different primers. Like I just feel like I I like this one, and it like doesn't do, does anything to my skin, so I prefer to use this. So now I'm about to do my eyeshadow using my Morph palette. Um, basically I'm using. A dark color like a purplish for my eyelid since my outfit is it has black on it I decided I'll just do some a nice you know simple neutral color so I used a purple a dark purple transition color and then I this is a wet and wild brush I bought from the family dollar honestly I didn't have any clean brushes at the moment so I basically used what I the leftover clean brushes I had and I'm just being honest with y'all usually I use my morph brush for this but it was dirty so I was just like you know what let me use what clean brush I have until then so I just put it as a transition color usually the um as you can see where I'm placing it is usually the dark colors go there like either you're closer to your skin color or if you want to be bold like me a dark color that pops out so that's what I'm doing you see I tried to blend it but yeah I was just like whatever I was in my own world <laughs> so now I'm blending it yeah I'm blending it out so that it doesn't look harsh
And you do the same thing to the other side as well. So right here, I'm about to look for another eyeshadow palette color using X-Rated Beauty. This is a black-owned business I bought this eyeshadow palette from. I haven't used this eyeshadow palette in like maybe a couple of months, but um, I remember seeing her on Twitter and she was starting off as a new business and I decided to support her and I like this eyeshadow palette. It's very pigmented. So yeah, um, I can list her Twitter because I don't know if she still sell them, but look like, wow, it's very pigmented. So yeah. I decided to use that as my eyelid color. And I did on both sides, pretty much. Now I'm putting my black thing. What is this called again? Oh, yeah, my black eyeliner. I really wanted to do a wing, but I was like, I don't want to play arts and crafts with my eyes so I just stopped it there because I'm going to put some lashes on and that'll be just fine for me okay so yeah I'm doing the eyelid I'm making it a little bit thicker so it could look nice so over here I'm basically putting a primer over the calamine lotion and the primer i had decided to use was it's um angel veal so you can find that at ulta and i'm just putting it into like you know my oily spots because i want this makeup to be matte and i know my skin is very oily So next I'm about to use my foundation NARS, which I will highly recommend you to purchase. It's very, it's, it's worth the purchase, trust me. Your foundation will melt into your skin once it oxidizes. So I highly recommend. And when I mean oxidize, basically once you put the foundation on your skin, you'll see momentarily. It's going to look light, but after a couple of minutes, it's going to get darker and it'll go right into your skin color so when you're doing a swatch just so you're aware of because you know right now as I'm putting it it looks so light and looks so warm but soon you're gonna see once it oxidizes it's gonna start seeping in so as you're applying the foundation make sure you're basically pushing it into your face if I'm saying it properly like basically blend it in your skin don't just pass it on your skin, but like literally you have to like dab it into your skin so that basically it's sitting in your pores. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, that, that's so beautiful. Like, you can't tell me this is not given what it's supposed to do. So yeah, basically I'm just passing the whole foundation all around. Trying to make sure everybody gets some. And as you can see, it's oxidizing. So it's getting a little darker. It's getting into my skin color. It's starting to blend in. Because I do have hyperpigmentation. I hope I'm saying it properly. So basically, my face is darker than my body. So yeah. This is what I'm basically doing in the meantime. Now everything's set in. The foundation is set. Next I'm going to do my concealer using Laura Mercier. I bought two shades. So it's like a caramel which is a little lighter than my skin and then like a a, another small one which is really really lighter than my skin so that my 
highlighted areas are pop out basically and um, basically you conceal under your eyes so I conceal under my eyes as you can see I don't put too much concealer like it's already expensive so I'm not gonna waste it <laughs> but yeah and then I put it down my nasal I also put on the bottom my chin a little above my lips and my forehead Ooh, yes ma'am and then now I'm gonna put the brighter brighter one not too much just so that it can basically lift up and brighten these areas when I get ready to blend it and also add Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder and next I am going to blend this bad girl out basically so I'm blending it using my Real Technique brush which you can also purchase at Ulta or Walmart they come in a pack with like four or five pieces for like twenty dollars and yeah basically I'm blending it you're dabbing it in making sure it seeps into your skin so that it can have a nice finishing I already blended the other side and the bottom and on top of my lips but as you can see I'll blend in just to make sure it's blended in properly and then I blend the top and my nasal I keep staring at my eyebrows like they look so nice y'all seen in the beginning I barely had anything and look like my eyebrows journey is getting there it's better than how it was before so give me time and I'll get there but I, I give myself you know a, a slap on the back I did that so I'm just blending it out in the meantime next um, I'm gonna browns but I just want to make sure everything's blended in properly I'm still blending y'all I need to stop playing games and get ready to bronze so I'm just blending in the lowest the lowest touches checking out myself as usual <laughs> one thing self-love is one important thing to have okay y'all self-love I'm also putting some concealer around my lips I would I like these areas to be bright so it could pop out like a knockout and then I'm still blending my cheeks and y'all if y'all gotta keep blending keep blending if y'all don't like it to your standard keep blending don't be scared to blend cuz trust me you want your makeup to blend in so it could look as best as possible and you know everything can not be a nice you know flow next so I like to put lipstick when I'm almost done so I'm using this matte Milani lipstick is matte and I also you decided to mix it up and do like a glossy lip so I am using fortune fortune cookie NYX and I am also going to use more famous lip gloss so I use all three of these colors and then I basically blot my lips and look at that it gives like a nice nude look yeah I was feeling myself a little too much and then now I'm just blending again child if I don't put this brush down I'm about to give my cheeks a concussion so next I'm like okay girl you know what it's time to bronze so I'm gonna show you two bronze um, palettes that I purchased months ago but I never used them so I'm like look girl if I'm um, where's the pa where's the palette stop it so yeah those two <laughs> So yeah, so one of them is lighter than the other, so 
I was a little skeptical because I don't like a harsh bronze look, if you understand what I mean. And I don't want nothing too light as well. So, the next one I show you right now, I end up choosing that one as my go-to. And we're going to use that to bronze. I'm starting at the mirror child. I still can't believe I did this. But anywho. So I'm going to use that brush. Look at that. Yeah. Bronze. Usually people contour. But I wanted to bronze because I didn't want my makeup too, too, too heavy. So I decided to just bronze it up. And then, yeah, those are the designated areas I would recommend you bronzing. Just to bring some warmth to your face. Because, oh, tongue tied. Just to bring some warmth to your face. Because since I already put concealer, it was bright. And then I'm also con I'm also bronzing um, my inner eye and the side of my nasal, not in the middle, just the side, to basically give my nose a chisel look. And then you just blend it. This is a real technique brush as well. I highly recommend. They're very affordable. I'm just making sure if I like it to my standard. And now I'm checking again because I'm like, wait a minute. Is everything together? So I decided to put a little bit more. Bronzer. Oh, sorry. That was indiscretion. I actually went and put some Sasha Buttercup to start baking. So baking depends on basically what you're in, what you like. I don't like to leave my my powder too long, so I like to basically press it in because I don't want no ashy, you know, tone. I don't want to look ashy, and some people get away with it. I don't think I will, so I decided to push it in. Ultimately. And that's what you're seeing me do. And, like, you see, you, I, I know some of y'all can already see, like, it's starting to look nice and, you know, bright. Because whenever you use a cream application, you should finish it off with a powder. Just in case you guys may not, you're not aware. I learned that from a makeup artist. I don't remember who exactly, but I remember <laughs> Which the person said. So I'm just right now trying to do like a chisel look. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I just seen on somebody do it. And I said, let me try it. And I've just been trying it ever since. But I guess it make it look good or whatever. But I don't know. I'm just letting y'all know. And then I decided to also put some on the bottom. You know, all the areas that you highlighted. I wanted also in the corner of my no nasal. Then I'm going to go down my nasal and my forehead as well. So basically all the spots that are highlighted. And then now I'm going to press this one in because I did the other side, but I didn't do this side. So I would just say, just keep pressing it in. And keep pressing it in. And this color is best for, like, people of color, I can say. Um, if you're lighter, then a translucent powder would be best for you, just in case if you're you know, wondering. Child, my mama came in. I had to let her go. I love my mama, though. <laughs> but I was looking at Ki Kiara, too, like, girl, what? why are your grandma doing the most? Exactly. Oh, okay. We getting there. 
so now I'm just basically pressing them in. I told y'all I don't leave it too long to bake. And look at that. My face looks so nice. Like, I know right now the hair ain't giving. But, baby, when the whole ensemble come together, it's giving. Okay? So, don't. Just focus on the face right now. Focus on the face right now. Okay? <laughs> like, I think my next venture will be on um, makeup as far as taking a class just for me to learn because i want to get better like this is me learning but i really want to i want to master makeup just like I, i'm mastering hair because i feel like you know as women we should be well versatile especially you know i'm trying to be an upcoming beauty influencer and now I'm using a setting powder to set. And it's a MAC Studio powder. Um, NW57, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just basically, you know, finishing it off. I got this. I actually got this tip from Lachey. Makeup by Lachey on YouTube as well. Oh, her work is so amazing. And then I'm going to use my Morph spray, setting spray. I'm not done yet, but I just like to, in between my makeup looks, set, set my makeup so that it's basically not looking all, you know, dried up. And it's looking as fresh as possible. So now I'm blending out the chisel look. And I'm smiling and smiling at the same time. And I'm just blending it out. Wow, my face looks so nice, y'all. I like it. I can't wait to get better. So now, Shay, what you gonna do next? Girl, I'm talking to you. You give me that eye look. What you about to do next? I know you're not done yet. Yeah, the bitty bees was, yeah. Yeah, you gotta hide them, girl. They was not given. So next, I'm just blending it a little bit more. I'm blending everything out. So I can have like a clean look. Making sure everything is blended. And now I'm using my Morph palette, which is like a bronzer and blush. But I'm going to do my blush right now. Um, I'm very picky when it comes to blush. I used to hate blush. Now I love blush. So, I decided this look needs a nice little blush. Not too harsh either. So, you see? Ooh. I told you. Yeah, blush is it. So, I'm going to put some blush. On both sides. You have to be very careful because once you put too much blush, it can make it can mess up the look. But it'll come together. So 
Now it's time for lashes. My sister bought me some lashes. So I decided to wear them. So that she didn't waste her money. And this, I feel like lashes are my favorite part of doing my makeup. Because I like a naked mole rat. But with lashes, it just gives you that oomph. So right now, I'm basically getting the glue and tweezers for the lashes, which I would highly recommend. Not hair glue, but actual, not hair glue, but actual lash glue. So I use a compact mirror, as you can see, a tweezer and a lash glue again to install my lashes i like strip lashes i've had mink lashes and honestly i can't keep up with it i get irritated fast i don't like how i gotta wash my face i give it to you lash warriors you can keep the individuals minks but i'll just stick to my strips i can take them on and off so yeah i'm putting the glue on it it should be about 10 to 15 seconds to dry up sometimes it takes me longer to put eyelashes because either the corners you know we all know the corners are always doing the most so yeah so now I'm getting ready to put the lashes on let's get ready to rumble So I like to look at the mirror, compact mirror, make sure that the lashes facing upwards and not downwards so that it doesn't look like it's, you know, not being put on properly. Don't rush when putting on your lashes. Take your time. It's not a race. Slow and steady always wins. That's my motto. So, you know, after you put the lash on, then you can use the tweezer or your hands to squeeze it into your real lashes so that it sticks together you see i told you it be it's it's a hassle as much as i wanted to rewind this part i want y'all to see like this is how it is it's not easy but it's possible and once you get it it's worth it look at that nice application and now we got the next side up and be careful because not only are you in danger of poking your eye off a bit but you also don't want to hurt yourself your eyes is very sensitive and very important and I'm just fixing it up making sure the corners are attaching properly, the end is attaching properly. Then you push it in. This eye was actually easier than the last eye. I didn't have to do too 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 much. I just want to make sure it's sitting just right. And then I'm going to check this side as well. Push it in. And when I say push it in, I'm not being rough on my eyes, y'all. I'm just pushing it lightly on the tip. So it's not on my eye, but, you know, it's near my eye. And boom, look at that. Look at that. I told y'all the lashes make the look. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. <laughs> don't play with her now it's time to put the wig on now it's time to put the wig on come on now come on now and this wig is also from my amazon vendor link is also below it was straight hair but like i told y'all i have one curled it and then i made it glueless if you want a wig made glueless i offer that service as well it's quick it's convenient and I'm basically applying the wig, adjusting it. Oh, wait, girl. So I'm positioning where I want it to sit. 
because you know I want to make sure you know and not looking crazy you know make sure it's in the middle since this is glueless no glue y'all y'all saw me do it so y'all can't say how 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 I'm telling you glueless wigs are in whether you get one made or you get one installed. Look at the one curls. I love it. I like, like I told y'all, I like brushing my curls. Oh, wow. Like, yes, Shay. Okay, Shay. Just finish fix the hair, Shay. You feeling yourself a little too much now. So I'm just brushing the hair, making sure everything's okay. Some flyaways. So I'm using the comb, right tail comb. Are the flyaways making sure everything is being combed properly and then I'm on the other side the same I did I still felt like it was not in the middle. No, okay, now we can't. Yeah, because it was not in the middle, girl. It was. So, here's the finishing look, you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling this. Yeah, like, the curl is still there. I brushed it out. But, getting to my face. And if you want more content, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. So this was me in the car. I was like, let me take a little selfie or whatever. So guys, I'm in the elevator. Um, doing a little one-two-two check. Five gold. I'm on time. That's it. I got some balloons. So we're gonna get this on the road. Okay, so yeah, it's windy as hell. My house is holding on for dear life. It's cold. I'm definitely not going for the weather. Last thing you find that there, oh my god, this is yellow. Bro, look what I'm wearing. I'm, I'm cold. I am cold. But I'm almost at the destination. Let me show y'all. So the brunch was amazing. I had a breakfast burrito and some from scrambled eggs. So yes, me and the girls looking cute. Yes, yes, giving face. And then there's me. Damn, girl, you look good. And then there's all of us. And happy birthday, John. I love you so much and appreciate you.